Right then, pop pickers, welcome back to the channel. You find me here on a chilly but stunning, stunning day. I'm down by my old pallet uh, composting station, which has been okay, but it's all rotten and it needs replacing. So you find me here, down in this scabby bit of ground here, look. Sorry, I'm squinting, the sun's in my eyes. And in that corner there, is the corner of the two fences. It's the fence that runs down the side of the uh, polytunnel and then it just divides off a little bit of little bit of uh, shrub and bushland behind it. The land on the other side of that fence on both sides is my land so I can do what I like. But what I've got to do is I've got to start clearing some of this crap. So let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what I mean. We've got this fence that comes all the way down the side and it comes into the corner somewhere there. I can't actually see because the sun's blinding me. That's the corner and then it heads 90 degrees that way. That's my land and that's my land so I haven't got to worry about anybody. This is my fence. If I didn't want it there I can take it down. So you can see we've got these reeds and everything that grow. They're, they're, a, they're a curse, right? I could weed kill them, but I don't like using weed killer. So, I'm going to strim this area down now, as tight down as I can to the ground. Yeah, and then I'm going to drive my truck over it. And if my truck doesn't flatten it properly, I might just get a, a harder whacker plate for the day and whack it down flat. But we'll see what we'll do. So we're going to, we're going to clear all this area here, clear all, all it down. Now, when I put this new composting station in, you see, I've got that gap there where you can get your lawn, I can get me ride on lawnmower through, yeah? I want to be able to ride my ride on lawnmower through that gap, down here, to that corner, and around, so I can try and keep this area under control. It's going to take some doing, but notwithstanding, you've got to start somewhere. So, I'm going to have that sort of gap. Now, I don't mind if I don't use my ride on lawnmower, probably beneficial if I don't, but as long as I can get my... my self-propelled muddy push lawnmower through there uh it'll do <clears throat> so that's what i'm doing today i'm gonna try and clear this scabby land so i'll see you guys later happy days right then we're back so there is that rough bit of grass that I was telling you about. I've streamed, I've streamed over three times. So let me show you here. Sorry for the bad videoing because I'm holding it by hand. So there's my, my first three in one raised IBC bed that I grew my sweet corn in. Get your lawnmowers through here. And I think I'm going to start it. Well, I don't know. I need to lay out the first one get my tape measure and measure how far it's going to be. In an ideal world, I'd like to leave enough gap here so I can get my Happy Days veg truck in there and also have enough gap there so I can get my drive my tractor in and out, forward or backwards, just in case I want to bring any compost or Cotswold, uh, Welsh slate chippings or anything down this section. So I don't, I don't know where I'm going to start it. I need to get my tape measure out. I might start from that post there. And it'll take up the distance from that post, more or less away across to that post there. But we'll see. And then as I say, I'm going to leave it out the same distance there. Or I might bring it out big enough just to reverse my happy days veg truck in this gap here. Who knows, I need to do some laying out. So I'm going to go and empty my happy days veg truck now, have a cup of tea and bring down some bases and we'll see what, we'll see what we think. Job done. Right then, pot pickers. I can't see the camera because the sun's blaring straight down on, onto my face. So, uh, you can see that I've got the five bases just laid out. They're upside down at the moment. They've got to be bolted together. 
and I've put two wooden stakes in the ground with an aluminous pink uh, builder's line running across there just to give me a level at the back. I'm just going to put the first one down in position and make sure I'm happy with the gap at the back. Uh, and I'm going to bolt them all together and I'll turn them over and we'll see how, how stable it is. I'm not too concerned. I've cut out all the big chunks of those heavy roots of the reeds and I've threw it over the fence over there. So that's not too bad. It's not as bad as you think. So once it's built, if there are any areas that need a bit of support, I'll just put some flat pieces of roofing slate uh, or thick slate underneath the area to give it some support. Uh, so while the sun's shining and the, and the weather's nice, I didn't think I'd get this far today, but I'm gonna bolt these all together and uh, I'll come back to you when these are hopefully in the base is bolted together the right way up and in its position. I'll see you guys later. Time to crack on, got a lot of work to do. Right then, pot pickers. The five bases are bolted together and they are not too bad. They are not too bad. Quite springy actually. So, there are going to be a couple of places where it's just going to need shimming up with some uh, pieces of thin slate underneath. But I'm going to carry on and carry on, keep on bolting more pieces on, and then we'll worry about the uh, the shimming up once it's all bolted together. Right then, kids. You vegetastic people, you crazy diamonds. Voila. Now, I was going to say it's took me all day to do this. It's took me the majority of the day. I don't know what the time is. I'm having a guess. It's probably 5 pm, maybe 5 30. I don't know. But I've been on this, streaming the ground digging out the big, <coughs> excuse me, digging out the big chunks of the roots of the reeds that are causing me problems. But this has leveled fantastically. Admittedly, I've just got to wedge that end up an inch or so and just put a, a wedge underneath that T section there. But that's nothing, that's nothing. This has gone perfectly well. Now, it's bolted in at the front, there at the bottom, on every one. This is bolted to that one, but you get to a stage where this one couldn't be bolted to this one. So, when the wooden, there's a wooden, uh, wooden rail to put across the back there, when that goes on there it'll be bolted through and it will hold this together at the moment I've got a, a clamp you can't see there's a clamp at the back just holding it together just to keep it square but this rock solid rock solid god my legs are aching I've been on my knees all day but I have got a big piece of sponge that I kneel on learnt my lesson so there she is one two three four four bays and then I'm going to see on the end here this is just going to be where I'm going to keep some big containers of the uh, the clearings out of them, my chicken coop and chicken run so I can add them into there as and when so what's left to be done quite a lot I'm going to cover up the sides to stop the compost going through and I'm going to cover up the majority of the base but there will be a lot of holes left for drainage and a soil connection because all the all the compost and the soil will fall through and fill up that gap in between the actual ground 
and there it'll fall through eventually build up and that'll give me access for all the grubs and all the worms and all the creepy crawlies to get in and out as and when they please so that's that i've got the same pallets for the front which i'm going to cut in half or cut roughly in half and i'm going to have some sliding wooden rails there or metal rails i don't know yet so you can slide the bottom half in which puts it up to there and then you can drop the top half in which will fill up the front but then when you want to come out when you want to get in to turn it over or shovel it from one to another you can take the top half out first then the bottom half to give you full access into there and because there's going to be a piece of heavy duty plastic on the bottom of there rigid plastic it'll make it easier to get your shoveling or your spading to, to shovel it out from one to another so that's that there's also going to be a wooden rail around the bottom to give me a nice smooth front to give me a nice edge so when I come round with my strimmer I've got a nice flat smooth edge to strim up against uh, whereas with all these gaps uh, you know you risk the chance of breaking your strimming line so I'm gonna have a wooden roll all around the edge to give me a nice edge to strim up against and then let's talk about the top I haven't fully decided yet but I know what I'm gonna make the top out of I'm making the top out of some corrugated roofing sheets that I've got left over from other projects I'm thinking once I put my spirit level on there I don't know which way, why exactly I'm going to do it, but there'll be a lid here, a hinged lid here, that goes from that edge half the way across to that edge. And it'll stick out just slightly an inch from the front, then that way you can lift up this lid and the lid will, will go straight over the back and drop down the back so you've got great access. And then that way you can close the lid and it'll keep all the harsh weather because we do have harsh weather here you know the wind's not a problem but i want to keep all the rain off off this compost pile uh, so i'm gonna have a hinged individual lid on each one and then down the side straight down the back and around the back other end edge that's going to be cladded in metal clad roofing sheets as well for longevity and it'll give it a bit more not that it needs it it'll give it a bit, bit more rigidity and it'll just look better it'll just look better uh, and then i'll probably just have a strip of timber on the front to finish off the front edge nice so it should look it should look lovely But take a word of warning, it'd be a nightmare to do this, try and put this together here without drilling it and pre-bolting it and, and measuring it all out. It would have been an absolute nightmare. It was a nightmare to bolt it together because it's very fiddly to get in. Uh, so thank God. You haven't seen the other video yet, but the other video shows you how I put it all together in the workshop to make life easier here and god it did make life easier here but you know you're going to need depending on what you're going to bolt it together with you know you're going to need some just hand drills and a couple of drill bits and uh, a cordless drill but i'm over the moon and this will give you some me standing here will give you some idea of the capacity of each one of those composting uh bays it's far superior to the old wooden ones because that's going to go far superior and in the future i've got the ability to add one on or add two on or i could add one on there and then come out here with a couple if i wanted to or when i move the old pallet ones there I'll clear that land, land and I can I can scrape it off and then I can uh, build another one there 
if need be. But let's see how this goes first. And believe you me, it won't take long to start filling these. Won't take long at all. So hope you like that video. Any questions, drop them in the comments. And uh, I know Chris in France is, is waiting to build something like this. Uh, I hope that's give you some ideas, Chris. And uh, as I say, I paid six pounds each for each one of these pallets, which when you consider the blue pad itself for five pounds each. Uh, these are a bargain. And the beauty of it is, it's all bolted together. So, you know, if the push comes to shove and the worst came to the worst, you could just unbolt it and move it on. But I'm over, over the moon, over the moon with this. So that's enough, I'm knackered, my knees are killing me, my back's killing me, my shoulder's killing me, so it's time to wrap up, close everything up, and it's time to go and, uh... do you know what, I might crack open a bottle of cold Corona Lager to celebrate. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Happy days. Man's a genius. Not only is he handsome, man's a genius. Look at that, look how nice that looks. Beautiful.